Hello there, this is Fair by NoWeOptions.com and for today's analysis I would like to take a look at the Australian dollar and Canadian dollar cross. So, Fair by NoWeOptions.com. So, I would like to take a look at the Australian dollar and Canadian dollar cross as the market is in quite an interesting position. First of all, from a fundamental point of view, there is going to be the um, uh, a major economic event to be released in the North American session. I'm talking about, of course, the uh, the Canadian uh, retail sales. And on the technical picture, uh, we have here a possible rising wedge on the one-hour chart, first of all, but that is not concluded. On the four-hour chart, on the other hand, we have, I would say, an irregular, an irregular flat. Now, the irregular flat started with the move uh, from this moment of time, from this moment of time, and we have a three-way structure to the downside. This is no impulsive move as the move is channeling too well and we have no uh, alternation between the second and the fourth wave, not to mention the extension. And then all this move to the upside is nothing but a corrective wave and it looks like a uh, like a correction so uh, in an irregular flat the pattern goes with the following structure first of all the market retraces all the way to the upside all the way to the upside the whole previous wave a so this is a three-way structure with wave a all the way to the upside market retraces and it is already retraced and now we should follow or price should follow a five-way structure to the downside to go and break the previous lows. Now the big question would be where would be the previous lows? I mean where would be the previous end of wave A, this one being here. Now wave A to the downside can only end either here, so I'd either here or here for this to be A, B, C, D, E, but it doesn't really make uh, uh, sense for price to uh, terminate here in the point 99.50 but rather at the lows here. Therefore, market normally now should be attracted by those lows and not only that they should go uh, into 99.30 but it should go there with an impulsive move, namely a five-way structure. So if this is wave A, then the B wave to the upside is this one here and a and B and the move the move that goes all the way in between here would be nothing but uh, a corrective way which is by the way channeling quite nicely now if you go and take a trend line and you try to look at this channeling situation that you have on the Australian dollar and Canadian dollar and then you clone the line a trend line and you put it on top of here when the market hesitated, here, see here, hesitated, hesitated, hesitated and this would be a nice place then to go and buy put options in anticipation again of a five-way structure that is about to, uh, about to come. Now on a, terminal, um, on a terminal pattern here ideally market should go and break this trend line but that is not, that is not mandatory. The conservative trader should wait for the 101 to be broken or for this trend line to be broken before going and buying put options because the market might go like this, like this and then to go into the five-way structure to the, to the downside or the more aggressive one may decide to go and trade it right here, right now. I would like to trade it of course right here, right now, put options in order to avoid being uh, trapped on the wrong side and the market to still push here. I mean in an, ir in an irregular flat it can go up, up, up uh, until, go until um, more than 161.8 comes but I won't think that that is the case and I would favor the downside now for the C wave out of this degree which is mandatory to go and to break this 99 36. Now we don't need that big of a distance when you trade binary options. We don't need that big of a distance for price to travel in, your fa in our favor in order for the option to expire in the money. However, it should be enough for, um, for our trade here and therefore let's write on the screen.
bind put options with end of week expiration date and that would be on Friday by the time the US markets are going to close that is the classical expiration date offered by each and every binary option broker I would say that it is in a topping situation the Australian dollar Canadian dollar despite the inflation in Canada now inflation in, in, um, in Australia inflation in Australia came at 0.5 percent in line with expectations but the markets were let's say a bit enthusiastic based on the fact that the previous release has been upgraded this is why the Aussie is on high heels I would say that either the Canadian uh, retail sales are going to surprise to the upside and will drag the um, Australian dollar Canadian dollar pair uh, down or we will have the um, we will have the Australian dollar US dollar to finally correct something uh, in between uh, 94 and uh, 93 it remains to be seen thank you for being here fairbinaryoptions.com we will have uh, binary options academy projects also at the end of this uh, of this week so make sure you check that that too thank you and bye bye